welcome everyone as you may know here at treasure beach we offer a wide variety of curriculum aligned education programs our core focus is on the marine and coastal environment so is the lockdown making you feel crappy not too worry our wesa on wheels lesson for today is focused on the great three syllabus as we explore the science behind crabs so great threes we have an awesome lesson on the life cycle of a crab while making a crabby craft in the process you will also get to learn about what they eat how they move and also their body structure you don't want to miss this All right, great threes, let us explore the crab's home at the rocky shores where you will find lots and lots of rocks. You will also find animals, sea plants. They love crawling on the rocks and hiding on sea plants. Now here comes the mother crab, beautiful, carrying fertilized eggs. Underneath her body, also known as abdomen. Can you spell that word for me? Abdomen. When the eggs are ready to lay, the mother will go down into the water to allow the eggs to hatch. Once the eggs hatch, the free swimming larvae drift into the water. This early stage larvae are known as zoea. During this stage, they don't look like adult crabs yet. They go through various changes before they start looking like adults. The zoea looks more like shrimps. They have a thorax, which is like a chest, and appendages, which are more like arms and legs. They have a crusty outer skin, a spine, a jointed limbs. They have a spike on their bodies and a transparent, which means you can see right through the body, which helps protect them from predators. How cool is that? During the next metamorphic stage, the older larvae are called megalopa. Can you spell metamorphic? Metamorphic, which means to transform or to change shapes. The larvae lives on the open water, floating on the surface of the water. They have a visible tail located at the end of the body and looks similar to an adult crab. They have four jointed legs on either side of the body. They also have nippers. As they grow, they go through more stages of molting before entering the juvenile stage. This stage lasts for a couple of days before the megalopa changes into a juvenile crab. The next stage is called the juvenile stage. The juvenile crab looks like an adult crab. But is much smaller. Their legs are now well developed for crawling on the rocks. The tails are tucked in underneath the body. 
some crab species are no longer filtered to plankton to eat and have changed to preying on invertebrates or eating dead plants and animals. The body continues to molt until it reaches the adult stage and to meet another crab where the cycle begins all over again. We have come to the end of our lesson today. We hope you had a great hashtag wow moment with us. If you'd like us to facilitate a practical hands-on lesson about life cycle at your school, contact our booking office to inquire. Do not forget to tune in on day two as we explore some interesting lesson about ecosystem. To learn on how to make a grubby craft, continue watching this video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.